Hi folks, today we're going to talk about what is canon and what that has to do with the Star Wars Legends title. First off, the origin of canon started in 1911 when Ronald Knox wrote an essay about the literature of Sherlock Holmes. When trying to define the difference between the stuff written by Sir Arthur Doyle and other people, he referred to Sir Arthur Doyle as canon, meaning it was real for him. Now, as you know, in Sherlock Holmes, he dies, and then later on, he comes back from the turn of Sherlock Holmes. And what some people were saying is like, oh, yeah, Watson faked the death, and I'm, I'm not really sure. It's been a while since I've read Sherlock Holmes, but he uh, faked his death for some reason and brought him back so we could have more adventures, actually. Everyone loved Sherlock Holmes back in the day, but a lot of people considered all of it canon. And so he was saying canon was something what you decide. What canon is whatever you decide what is canon. He was saying, hey, this is canon for me. Other people believe this is canon for them with Sherlock Holmes, or they accept these two as this part. Just basically going to show you that the origin of how the word was used was just to show, hey, what you consider to be canon. Now, for me, that's the expanded universe, obviously. I've said that a million times over. I consider the people that I've grown up decades with reading about those people, to me, those are canon. That stuff really happened. Now, anything starting with Rebels on, including Episode 7, in my opinion, will not be canon. Okay? Now, not everyone has to agree with me. I'm not out here to force you to bend to my will. I've said it before. If you want to go see Episode 7, go ahead. If you want to make Disney's new canon your canon too, go ahead. But the thing that shocks me is like, bro, I don't know what your deal is. I don't know why you're upset. You was garbage. Well, that's because you didn't care about it. And then they always counter with, yeah, I read a lot of EU. So? Okay, my favorite color is blue. Yours is red. Why are you mad that I don't like red? I don't understand. EU meant a lot. I've read all the books, not just a few of them. Uh, read plenty of them, loved it. And you know what? That was my family. I, I grew up with characters of Jason and Jaina Solo, Ben Skywalker, Mara Jade, Corrin Horn, Kyle Katarn, Kit Durin, and a million others that I love. To say that those people are not a part of the universe anymore, they've been obliterated to the Legends category, well, I'm sorry, but that's EU. That, that was what's canon to me. It fits in with everything else with the other movies. I'll take it out. I, mean, I, I will keep that all in. I will take out the Clone Wars TV show and let them have it for their canon because I didn't really like it that much. But overall, I do love the expanded, uh, Star Wars Expanded Universe and I plan on keeping it as canon. Now another question I get to hear a lot is like, well, why, why are you so mad about it? I mean, they're still being printed under Legends. Yeah, but they're not having further adventures under Legends. If they were having further adventures under Legends, like continuing the storyline, I wouldn't have a problem. I still wouldn't go see episode 7, but at least I would still be buying the books with the Legends banner on them. That's not what they're doing. They're reprinting the older books under the Legends banner. Now, I would love for them to consider continuing that storyline as an alternate universe for those similar to me who consider those books canon. That would be great. Something to think about for the fans. But remember, it's a business. It's not for the fans. It's to make money. However, though, uh, Star Wars Legends to me is kind of like saying, hey, you know this family that you grew up with for years reading and caring about? Well, they've, we've sent them to their retirement home, and now here's the brand new canon coming at you. Come on, rebuy everything again. I'm sorry, I just can't. I can't. I love Star Wars, and some of you know on my blog, I love Disney, too. I love Disney World. And everyone's like, wait, wait, you love Star Wars, you love Disney. Why don't you like them together? I just don't. Big business trying to run it in and not doing it for the fans. It's fine. Well, what about Lucas? What about the prequels? Ah, eh, you know what? That knucklehead. He did whatever he wanted to, and that was fine. The books were where was what made me a Star Wars fan, actually. Actually, I'm a bigger fan of the EU than I am of Star Wars. If it hadn't have been for the books, I wouldn't have really... I mean, I would have liked Star Wars. I would have had in my collection. I wouldn't have watched it that much. Like Indiana Jones. I have them. I haven't seen them a million times like I've seen Star Wars. Because the books just enriched the storyline from the movies. They enriched the characters. They gave me the better story, deeper, in-depth insight into what they were going on, what their life was going to be like. That's what I really loved about it. And that was, the Expanding Universe was the closest they'd ever been with the fan base, giving stuff for the fans. 
Now, like I said, whichever one you want to be, if you love the old EU and you want to embrace the new EU, go ahead. But don't be upset if a few of us don't go that way. Anyway, more to come next week on the channel, so stay tuned. See you later.